How do you find for the locus of points equidistant from given points? So the first thing that we have to identify here first is the term locus of points. So when you say locus of points, these are actually set of points. So they can be in a form of a circle or an, a line depending on the given problem. So let's look into some problems concerning finding for the locus of points given point or points. So we have here, what is the equation of a locus or of the locus of points equidistant from points 4, 2 and negative 2, 3. So in this case, we are actually given two points and these are your points 2 or 4, 2. Uh, we will name that as our point A and then negative 2, 3. We will name that as our point B and then we will try to locate that in our Cartesian plane. So 4, 2 is located in our first quadrant. 4, 4, 2. So we have it here. And this point again is our point A while our point B which is negative 2, 3 is located in the second quadrant. You have negative 2 and then 3. So we have it here. So we have to understand here that when you have this, this simply means that we are looking for a series of points which are of equal distance from your point uh, A and B. So we can try to imagine that this point that we are or this line or this uh, set of points that we are looking for is actually a certain line so we cannot we can just uh, try to locate it somewhere here okay so though this is not yet the final answer but the thing here is we need to analyze now that there are series of points here series of points or set of points that when I uh, look for the distances and compare it, they are supposed to be equal. Okay, so like for instance, I will be choosing a certain point, but since I do not know that point, I will just have that as my point P and have that name as point XY. Okay, so we will now try to find for the equation of this line. Okay, point P and then I will be naming that as my point X, Y. Now, the thing that we have to do is they are supposed to be of equal distance. That means to say if I will be getting the distance here of uh, point B, P to point P, A, they are supposed to be equal. Okay, the distance must be equal. So that is the statement that I have to put here in the so that I can uh, find for the equation of the line. So again, the distance, the distance of your P, PB must be equal to the distance of your PA. What we are going to use, of course, is our distance formula. So we will now try to substitute. So the distance formula will, will states that you have your x squared or x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So we will uh, be using this formula. x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus your y sub 2 or the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. Okay. So this is, again, your distance formula. And this is what we are going to apply. Again, your points that you will be using here for our point B is negative 2, 3. And the point for your point A is 4, 4, 2. We will now try to substitute. We will now take your x, y as our point B. Therefore, that remains as our variable, meaning you will have x. And then taking now your point B, which is negative 2, 3, you will have x minus x minus your negative 2 becomes x plus 2. So be careful on that part wherein you have to change the negative to positive. And then you have your plus y minus 3. So y minus 3 raised to the second power.
and that must be equal to the distance now between point P and uh, A. So again, we will be taking that point X and you have to subtract that to the X of your A or point A and then raise to the second power. So X minus 4 and plus you have Y minus 2. Y minus 2 raised to the second power as well. Okay. And the thing that we are going to do, so there is the square root sign, so there is a need for us to, to remove that, and we can do that by squaring both sides. So when you square this left-hand side of your equation, you have to do the same thing on the right-hand side. Therefore, that will already be cancelled. And what is left is just the terms inside your uh, radical. Okay, so what do we have now? We will now have the expansion. So we will expand x plus 2 quantity squared. So we will now have the square of the first term twice the product of the first and the second. So that would mean 4x. And then 2, two squared will also give us a 4. Okay. And then plus, you have to square now your y minus 3. So the answer for that is y raised to the second power. Your negative 3 times y is 3y, but you have to multiply that by 2. And the negative 3 squared, that becomes now your 9. And again, you have to do the same thing on the other side. So this will become x raised to the second power minus 8x because that is negative 4x times 2. And the negative 4 multiplied by itself gives us a positive 16. And also have here y minus 2 raised to the second power. So definitely that becomes now y raised to the second power. And then minus 4y. And again, we have a plus 4. Okay. So to be able to simplify this, we will try to cancel those which are similar because that will be equated to 0 already like your x squared. So x squared will cancel the other x squared here. And so with the y squared, so that is also canceled. And in the constant, as you notice, we have a positive 4 on both sides. So we can also remove the positive 4 and the positive 4. So that you can now just combine the terms or the similar terms. So if you are going to check on this, we have now your 4x. So let's look into that one. You have 4x combined with, so we will have 4x. And the negative 8x will now become positive 8x. Now, the thing that we are doing here is you have to change that in the form of ax plus by plus c because this is now the standard form or standard uh, form of a line. So, we have ax plus by is equal to c. So, 4x plus 8x. So, combining also your y's, you have negative 6y here. And this happens to be a negative 4y. So, this will now turn to be positive 4y. Again, what we are doing is the addition property of equality. Now, we have to leave all the constant on the other side of your equation. So the negative, the positive 4 are already cancelled, leaving only now your 16. And there you have your 9, which now becomes minus 9. And we will solve. This is now giving us an answer of 12x. So 4 plus 8 is 12. We have 12x. Negative 2 plus Negative 2 plus 4, that or negative 6, I should say, plus 4, that gives us an answer of negative 2y. And of course, subtracting 16 minus 9, that is equal to 7. Okay? So this simply means that the equation of the line that we are looking for is 12x minus 2y is equal to 7. We cannot reduce this to another form because this one is already uh, or is an, is an odd number. So they are not divisible by a common number. So we take it as is. So 12x minus 2y is equal to 7. Now, how, uh, how 
how can we be sure that we are correct? We can actually set a certain point and then we will try to substitute it later. So what is that point that we can possibly he have here? We can let x be equal to zero. So if we will be letting x equal to zero, that would mean that you will have 12 times zero minus 2y is equal to is equal to 7. So this will give us an answer of negative 2y now is equal to 7. And the value of y that we will be able to compute is negative 7 over 2. So negative 7 over 2 or this is negative 3 and 1 half. So that simply implies that your point 0 negative 7 over 2 is a point on the line and we will try to check if it uh, it will really give you an equal distance when compared now to uh, the distance between a and a and b so where, what where is the location of that point zero and then negative 7 over 2 so zero i will now try to erase this line which i made a while ago and then we will try to draw that line which touches of course our 0 negative 7 over 2 so it's a quadrantal point 0 for x negative 7 over 2 so 1 2 3 3 and a half so it is somewhere here which means that if i will be uh trying to draw that line now it should touch this point okay and of course the point that we are uh, trying to have okay this would satisfy the equation that we obtained 12x minus 2y is equal to 7 so again the point that we are trying out now is your point 0 negative 7 over 2 okay though we already got the answer which is this we want to uh, really be sure if you are getting the correct answer so what is our aim now we will try to look for the distances between these two and compare them and they are supposed to be equal so again i am trying to prove that these two uh, distances from your point a and point b are the same so again we will go back to our distance formula so the thing that we are going to do is to look for the distance of your A to that point. I will name that point that we assume to be point C. Okay, so we will now have your AC and the distance between AC, I will just use the other side for the distance between BC. And the result that we are supposed to get here are equal. Okay, if they are not, that means if they are not equal, that means there is something wrong with our answer. So again, the point that we are using now are negative 2, 3, 0, negative 7 over 2, 4, 2, and 0, negative 7 over 2. So let's have first the AC. So it is this line. You have uh, 4, the quantity of 4 minus 0. Again, what we are using is the distance formula. Do not forget this. This is your distance formula. So 4 minus 0 raised to the second power plus you have here now your 2 minus 7 over 2. So be careful on that because of the negative sign. So that should be 2 plus uh, 7 over 2 raised to the second power. Okay, and then after doing this, we just have to simplify. What do we have for 4, is 4 minus 0? So that is 4 uh, squared that gives us an answer which is already equal to 16. And then there is a fractional number here. That means 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus the 7 is equivalent to 11. So 11 over 2, but that is not yet the answer because we have to raise that to the second power. Okay, and after this, we have now uh, 16, 16 plus the square of 11 over 2, which is now 121 over 4. And in order for us to express this as one quantity, 
there should be the denominator four and then six times uh, six or four times 16 there is 64 so adding 64 plus 121 the answer that you will be getting there is uh, the square root of that is 5 8 and 185 but you can extract the square root of 4 to be 2 so we can now have the square root of 185 over 2 now we expect that the answer that we will be getting here is the same as the square root of 185 over 2 so what are we going to do the same you have to find for the distance between the points now again bc so we have a negative 2 minus 0 and raised to the second power plus of course you have here your 3 and then the negative minus 7 or the minus negative 7 over 2 becomes plus 7 over 2 Okay, and then of course you have to raise that again to the second power. And continuing with the process, what do we have? We have negative 2 raised to the second power, so automatically that becomes 4. And then you need to do some solution here. So 2 times 3, that is 6. 6 plus the 7, that gives us a 13. So 13 over uh, 2. But again, we have to raise this to the second power. And we have here now your uh, 4 plus the square of 13 over 2. And of course, that results to 13 squared is 169. And 169 over 4, that's 2 squared. And solving for this again, there is a need for us to express the, them as 4, 4 divided by 1 times 4 is 16, plus we have to add that to 169. And the answer for 16 plus 169 is equal to, okay, 15, we have a 15 there, and then 7 plus 1 is 8, that is also equal to 185. And then, of course, you can extract already the square root of 4, and the answer that we got is 2. Okay, so we have proven that your points of the distance, okay, that is one point. Then 0, negative 7 over 2 is one point that could satisfy our equation. And therefore, the answer for our problem, okay, the equation of the line, again, we go back to our equation. What is the equation of the locus of points equidistant from the points 4, 2, and negative 2? Two, three. The answer for that is 2x minus 2y or 12x minus 2y is equal to 7. That's how you find for the locus of points equidistant from a certain or given two points.